prophecy has been released and this time around a scary prophecy concerning Moses, Bliss and family as a prophet claims that God told him that there is a shaking coming around his family. How true is that? You will get to know in this video. Hello, you're welcome to my channel. I'm Ami React. Over here, I do just, I do reactions and all that good stuff. Kindly do all by liking the video. Kindly do all by subscribing to the channel. There was a video I saw circulating on social media of a prophet whose picture you're seeing on your screen um, said about Moses Blaze and family said there's a shaking coming around Moses Blaze. And that people should pray for Moses Bliss. People should pray for his family. And he spoke about Ebuka's songs. Which uh, I will not be talking about in this video. But will be another video. But I want us to focus majorly on Moses Bliss. And the prophecy the prophet gave. And also feel free to drop your own opinions in the comment section. I remember it was not. Uh, I think it was five days ago. Or was it six days ago where I gave the prophecy or what I call them words of wisdom God gave me concerning Moses please and if you watch that video in case you've not watched that video I will put in the link in the comment section where I spoke about um where the Lord said he's with Moses that setup will come but that he's going to continually expose the setups and that he's going to expose unfriendly friends around Moses. Yes, he said it, that he's going to expose unfriendly friends around Moses. And that he knows that the going will get tough, it will get tight. And that was why he gave him a Rachel, a root. Go and watch that video again. But he gave him a Rachel, he gave him a root, which is Mary, that will be by his side. In the midst of all this turmoil. When a negative prophecy comes. What I do is immediately I reject it. You know why? Do you know why I don't believe so much in negative prophecies? That's because I believe that. When God reveals something to you. He's not revealing it to you. Because he wants it to come to pass. He's revealing it to you. Because he wants you to have a knowledge of it. So that you can pray. And you can walk against it. For example if God reveals to you that. When you drive to the office, you might have an accident. What do you do? You pray about it. You cancel it in the spirit realm. And let's say that day you don't drive. You enter public transport or you follow another road. You get me? So when prophecies come like this, I don't want people to start shaking. Oh, they say, oh, no, 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 no. God is not revealing it because he wants the evil to come to pass. No, he's revealing it because he wants children of God to pray. To intercede for this man in the place of prayer. That is why he's revealing it. Yes, the, the, the prophet who revealed that prophecy did well. He also said people should pray for Moses. Which is the most important thing I liked in all he said. I understand that in this part of the world, people give prophecies to put fear in the minds of people. People give prophecies to make people live in this shackle of fear. To make people feel that, oh, this will happen. Or to make or to bring people down to their knees. I've noticed it as a trend, usually here in Africa. They will tell you things like, oh, this one will happen to you, that one will happen to you. At the end, there is no solution. They just say those things to put fear in the minds of people. And I know that that is not that prophet's intention. No, his intention was to you know create awareness so that Moses can pray and now all those prophecies are coming up it's now left for us as a body of Christ to pray for Moses yes like I always say Moses is a great man and I see him transitioning from being a gospel minister to a big um, you know man of God a preacher because he has the word he has the fire of God in his loins so this kind of person we, we have a lot of attack that's why I always come here, I tell Moses, please focus. Focus. Leave Grammy Award, leave, B leave BET Award. I tell you, where God is taking Moses, please, to, he would not need any of those awards. He would not. Have you seen any of the great men of God struggle to get Grammy Award, to get BET Awards? No. 
Because they know what is in their loins. They have the fire of God in their loins. That's what I always tell Moses, please do not, do not fret. Do not get carried away. Remain, keep your eyes on the, on, on the price. What is the price? The price is the gospel of Christ that he has kept in your mouth. He has kept in your lungs. Forget about the fame. Forget about the money. Forget about the good things that come with being famous. Continually put your hope on our Lord Jesus. Continually focus on him. Because he's, because he's the author and the finisher of your faith. That's why you see me come over here. I always keep telling Moses, please, that focus. The journey ahead is, is big. The glory ahead is bigger than what you're seeing here. And that was why I told you guys that Blizz's experience is already a success. Because it has been settled in the realm of the spirit. That's why I'm still telling Moses, Blizz here again, focus. The glory ahead of you. The, the, the grace ahead of you and, and Mary. The congregation you and Mary will handle in the nearest future is bigger than what you saw in Blizz's experience. Go and write it down. You will come and remind me years to come. That I said it in this channel. Moses will be on the pulpit. Maria will be by the side. A Rachel that will stand by her husband. So Moses, do not fret. Continue to have faith. Continue to wear the armor of faith, the armor of confidence, the armor of hope, the armor of peace on you. The Lord is with you and he will continue to keep you. But the only thing I always tell Moses, this is focus. What is that focus? Focus your, on the word of God. The gospel of Christ he has kept on your mouth. Do not look at what your other colleagues are doing. What other gospel artists are doing. Your own grace is different. If you go their route, you will fall disastrously. Continue to stand on the word of God. God it's a rock. That when the righteous run into, they will always be saved. So that's justice. We cancel every negative uh, prophecy or any negative word of wisdom concerning Moses. Please and his wife, Mary. They will continue to grow from glory to glory to glory to glory, from grace to grace, and the Lord will continue to strengthen them. Feel free to drop your own opinions in the comment section, my beautiful people. Do you want us to set a special day where we will pray for Moses? Please let me know in the comment section. That's all I have for you in this video. Do want to like, do want to subscribe. I remain Ami React over here. I do just I do reactions and all that good stuff. I will kindly see you in my next one, my beautiful, sweet people. Do what to like, do what to subscribe. Bye, guys.